Hello there and welcome to the Bearded Peacock, it's my channel where we talk all things Leeds United, I'm of course George. Welcome along to the channel everybody, hope everybody's well and if you're new to the channel remember to hit that subscribe button and give it a like as well on your way in. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers before the season starts so hopefully you can help me out like I say on these ones and subscribe if you like the content. Now it's a it's been a busy few days, hasn't it, for Leeds United? And, um, you know, I'm sure we'll touch upon it as uh, as the video goes on here. But, yeah, look, transfers are going on all the time now. It seems to have exploded into action. And we're talking about, well, one in particular, incoming, obviously. But there has been an outgoing today for Leeds United, United as well. And it's a case of one Tyler in, one Tyler out today. Uh, incoming, of course, Tyler Adams, a centre midfield player, coming in for as a replacement for Calvin Phillips. And outward going, many fans very happy about this one, I think, is Tyler Roberts. Uh, going to QPR, going down to London to play the season in the Championship. Let me know in the comments what you think of this one, but we will get into it and speak firstly about the new signing Tyler Adams, the American international, signs on a five-year deal for a fee of £20 million split. I think it's over five years, is it? So it's what? It's you do the maths, you know. <laughs> but, uh, you know, they're paying it over instalments, Leeds United. Tyler Adams is finally through the door and he signs, like I said, on a five-year deal. American international centre midfield player. It's been pretty obvious one, this one. I think we're all happy that it's finally been done. Many people speaking of it, the people who make these sort of videos other than myself has obviously been speaking about Tyler Adams. Seems like forever now. It's now finally done as it escalated over the weekend. And we'll look at what he sort of said. He's been speaking as they all do, don't they, to bring law when they come in and... He's been speaking about what kind of player is it he is. He says he's a tr transitional player, loves to win the ball back and all this sort of thing. Similar to Calvin Phillips, really, in many, many senses. I think he's been given a little bit of a bad rep by a lot of Leeds United fans before he's even kicked a ball. Lots of people wanted that other fella, didn't they? Of course, Mo Kamara. Looks like that interest is dead. We're wanting two more players, aren't we? Uh, other than, um, sorry, one is, of course... Uh, Sinistera, 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 the Colombian fella, of course, which is, of course, on the way, isn't he? Probably next week that'll be doing exciting stuff, isn't it? Him, he looks very much a exciting player, but yeah, look, and very much a, a Rafina replacement, but um, we'll speak about him when it's been done, which I think will probably be tomorrow, possibly. But anyway, back to Tyler Adams. Yeah, he said he's a transitional player, loves to win the ball back. He spoke about, he watched the documentary, learned a little bit about Leeds United um, and all that kind of thing. He said he loved the passion of the fans and, you know, he couldn't wait as well, of course, he said, to, um, to play in front of a packed out Ellen Road. But he said it was great to be here the first day, meeting people and everything. He's... Seems very excited, seems to speak very well actually as well for, for quite a young player as well, which is really good uh, to see, um, well to hear and see isn't it, seems to hold himself well, he, he spoke of course about Jesse Marsh and how Jesse's in, you know, influence on his career and that was a big part of him choosing Leeds United to come to, he obviously feels very comfortable with Jesse Marsh. Um, I said in the video, didn't I, last week that Adams is uh, basically what Paddy Kenny is to Neil Warnock. Seems to follow Marsh all over the place. Had him at Red Bull, Le uh, Red Bull New York. Then he moved to Red Bull Leipzig, RB Leipzig. So, yeah, now he's at Leeds United. So, yeah, are you happy to have him here, Leeds fans? Let me know in the comments there below. Uh, me personally, yes, I think he would be a very competent uh, replacement for Phillips and I'm excited to see how him and Rocker get on in that sort of defensive two 
as I'm, we all know, we're going to play this now, either a 4-2-2-2 or a 4-2-3-1. Let's wait and see how it pans out. But exciting signing for me. It's finally done. Like I said, Sinistera looks like he's on the way as well. Um, imminently, basically. Obviously, Fabrizio Romano has said, here we go. And we all know what that means when he says that. But yeah, we'll speak about him when it gets done of course the squad are on the way to australia aren't they on over the weekend let me know in the comments there are you one of the fans that are going to australia uh lucky if you are it'll be it'll be great over there i'm pretty sure strong contingent of Leeds united fans across australia looking forward to seeing them play i'm sure over there but yeah adams is in let me know what you think of him in the comments but also, one departure this evening, it was announced not too long ago that Tyler Roberts is to play football in the Championship for Queen's Park Rangers down in London for next season, I think. Now, the report might have said, I actually haven't had a look, but I think it is a view to a permanent deal. So I think we've probably seen the last of Tyler Roberts in a Leeds United shirt. Let me know in the comments what you think. For me, and for many others, Tyler never really cut the mustard, unfortunately. Looked good in parts, looked good like he was... It looked good up until the final third, and then he'd mess it up, and only two goals in, in, in the space of the... in the span of when we played in the Premier League. So not good enough for me, and good luck to him, though. You know, it was... I always said it was a player I'd, I'd love to do well for Leeds. Um, but, you know, he just didn't. He wasn't good enough. Let's wait and see how he gets on in Queen's Park Rangers in London. Any QPR fans watching? Are you excited by this signing? Do you know? Have you seen much of Roberts play? Obviously, Welsh international will want to get football and minutes in for the World Cup. I'm sure he'll go to the World Cup, to be fair. Um for Wales and obviously up against England, aren't they? So he'll want minutes. It's a good move all round, really. Championship. Hopefully he can settle into the championship and, and, and really find his form because, like I said, very promising player, but he's getting older now and he just hasn't cut the mustard at all uh, in a Leeds United shirt. Definitely in the Premier League, if you look at those stats, only two goals as a forward player in the whole of the two seasons we've played in the Premier League, so not good enough. Um, but yeah, I'm a little bit sorry, if I'm honest, to, to see him go, really, um, because I think he promised a lot, but we have to focus on quality now. The squad's beefing up. We know now, Graham Smythe has said, after Adams was announced, there's two more first-team signings to get. That would make six. One, like I keep saying, is going to be Sinsitera. I've probably said his name about three different times in this video, but we all know by now who he is, even though many of us probably didn't know who he was before Monday. I certainly didn't. But a Colombian international looks like a really exciting player, and that is a a club fee for um, a record fee for Feyenoord, smashing the one they got for Dirk Count when he left for Liverpool, I think, in 2006. Um, so, yeah, we wait imminently for that one, but let's wait and see. And we'll look more in depth for what he said when he signed for Leeds later on in the week. Let's wait and see. But Tyler Adams through the door. Tyler Roberts out the door. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching as always. Like I said, remember to hit the subscribe button and like the video as well. Thanks a lot for watching. Marching on together. I'll see you on the next one.